So, Danny, I kept trying to reply and trying to reply and trying to reply to your video, but YouTube wouldn't let me. I don't know what that was about. I was able to post the first comment and then all subsequent uh, all subsequent comments would not post. So, um, I totally figured I would just <clears throat> that I would just post a video response, you know? Um, the I Heart Female Orgasm book I've actually seen in Barnes & Noble like, for years now, and pointless story. I remember taking a picture of my friend Meg holding the book you know, up, because we were at the Harry Potter... Half-Blood Prince, Midnight Release, Half-Blood Prince, no, Deathly Hallows, Deathly Hallows, we were at the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Midnight Book Release, and we saw it, and we were like, let's take a picture, because, you know, we heart female orgasms, and we do, I certainly do, I appreciate them very much, um, <clears throat> that actually sounds like, I have not read it, but it sounds like a really great book in that some people really need that education. For some people, it seems obvious, all this stuff, but it's not to a lot of people, which is dangerous, in my opinion, that it's it's bad. Like, I, I intensely dislike the culture that we have in America right now where we have two extremes on one hand you've got the media constantly portraying women as sexual objects and it's all very hypersexual and so that's the image that girls get people get about sex and women and their bodies and it's not a realistic image and then on the other hand girls are taught to fear their bodies to not touch themselves because that's dirty and that girls need to stay virgins because obviously that's where our value lies is in our hymens and that if we do have sex, we're sluts, we're whores, and it's a terrible image to be giving to young women out there. <sighs> Old women, too. Not everybody knows this lesson by the time they're an adult. That it's, it's aggravating. It's aggravating. <clears throat> because guys don't get that. Guys are not afraid to touch themselves. They don't think of their privates as dirty. In fact, they... <laughs> I don't think I've met a single guy who, who hasn't masturbated before. I mean, they all do. And they all talk about it. And because it's normal for them. Because pleasure is normal for them. It's like we totally deny pleasure to women guys masturbate and guys have sex and they talk about it they're open I mean not necessarily dude I slept with this one girl last night or me and my girlfriend did it in this particular position not open in like the TMI kind of open but just like yeah that they have sex that they've had sex that they are looking forward to the next time that they do get sex because it's, they don't feel any kind of, like, stigma attached to that. And, and then the one that really, really pisses me off is that guys don't get derogatory terms. And not, well, not just for when they have sex, either. Think about it. Derogatory terms. Bitch. Slut. Whore. Cunt. Pussy. All of those... 
are derogatory towards females. They're gender specific. When guys have a lot of sex, you don't call them sluts and whores. No, because apparently it's okay for guys to have sex, and it's normal for guys to have sex, and that's just totally cool. But when girls do, that's bad. That's bad. One, they ruined their value. Where's their hymen? Who's going to marry them now? They're terrible. God hates them. And they're sluts and whores because they had sex. It just pisses me off. It's not right. And... In a culture as progressive as America, you, we shouldn't be having this discussion anymore. It should not be these two extremes. It should be one normal view about sex and the human body and the emotion that ties into it and all of that. It should be that it's normal to touch yourself and that it's normal to have sex because you have feelings for someone or maybe you don't have feelings for someone I mean people have one night stands but that sexuality is normal and not dirty and we should stop viewing it like that we should also stop viewing it through the eyes of porn like you were saying because come on <laughs> that's really realistic right no, it's just... It really pisses me off. It's like, it really... Just... Oh my god. It's... It's wrong. We should, like, be over that already. Like, seriously. But we're not. For some reason, it still persists. And... Ugh. So, more power to the book... I heart female orgasms because someone needs to tell everybody what's what. People need to realize this and sometimes they don't and and yeah, yeah. So I'm very glad that you did this book review, Danny, because really that's it was I won't say necessary. It's not necessary for you to do that, but it's very good to do that. Like, it's. I don't think it was inappropriate at all. I think that's a very appropriate subject matter. I mean, obviously, you know, 13 year olds don't necessarily need to be knowing this, but I, I am proud of you for going ahead and doing a book review on a book like this because. It needs to be sad, frankly. It needs to be sad. Um, so yeah, I heart you, and I heart your book review, and it was really good, and I'll see you later. Bye.